close to 100 miles from here, hundreds, if not thousands, of people are now flocking to the eastern shore for a mural that's now gone viral. WMER2 News Skyler Henry traveled to Cambridge to see the newest painting of Harriet Tubman and how it's drawing tourists from around the world. If you let those in Cambridge tell it, mm -hmm. the city of a little more than 12,000 has almost seen double that she, she, in the past few months. Look at her. Just because of this. She looks so real. I started doing sketches, and one sketch led to another until finally I hit one that just had a position. And I thought, oh my goodness, you know, uh, that's it. You know, that odd moment where you suddenly realize I can have Harriet Tubman reaching out through the wall. And taking you on a journey many of us have heard of, but may not know the full story to. Michael Rosado admits when he signed on to paint the courage, strength, and bravery of Harriet Tubman through a mural, there's a lens he can't see the image through. But for so many others, no matter the age, it's an instant monument. And that moment to me is the most powerful of all, when one person has to decide to go and the other person has to project enough authority to say, trust me, we're going to make it. The near two-story painting brushed onto the facade of the Harriet Tubman Museum and Education Center has now attracted people from around the world. The Trump Loy, or three-dimensional optical illusion art, draws people to grab Harriet's hand. The background shows off the natural beauty of Dorchester County with its loblolly pines and marshes, and then a boat, symbolizing when Harriet boated her niece and another woman from Cambridge to Annapolis and on to freedom. The fact that people are willing to go off the beaten path, go off of Route 50, come all the way from Baltimore, Philadelphia, whatever, just to see this image, and then we have so much more that we can offer them. Every day, William Jarman, the curator at the museum, gets calls from just about everywhere wanting to check out this mural. On this day, it's visitors from Baltimore, Bowie, Philadelphia, and New York City. It means you have to get out of your vehicle and you have to explore Dorchester County and Cambridge, Maryland, and also the, th the feeling of being underground. You get that feeling when you walk through here. And after you make it, awe, mm -hmm. joy, yes, yes. and even tears. You're forced to look into her eyes. You're forced to put yourself in the position of somebody standing in front of it, you standing in front of it, and then the impact it might have had if you were in that moment where you had to take that hand. From brush to brick, it took about two weeks to finish the mural, but not without months of prior planning and sketches. There are many people who are coming to this country for the same thing that she felt just trying to get from Maryland to Pennsylvania. Now we have people coming from all over the world who are seeking that type of freedom. A bridge of hope, symbolizing not only a journey for freedom, but opportunity. This was uh, an incredible moment in time where a woman was willing to sacrifice self, you know, for, you know, for the people that want to take the hand. So if they can take away that, it's perfect. Thank you for all your help. In Cambridge, I'm Skyler Henry, WMAR 2 News.